How can I handle a tragedy? In one of my earlier videos, I had mentioned that I will answer the question how to handle a, a tragedy in one of my subsequent videos. I would tell a little story about a rich king who lived in Japan and uh, a Zen master came to visit him and uh, this uh, Japanese lord or king uh, asked him for some blessings for his family which can last him for generations and uh, the master asked for a large piece of paper and on that piece of paper he wrote the king dies his son dies his grandson dies his great grandson dies and handed it back to the king uh, when the king read this he was quite furious on you know on reading this that what is this i asked for a blessing and you are asking for the death of me and my family generations so the master smiled back at the king and said this is the natural order of things if you if your son were to die before you you would be in tremendous grief and if your grandson were to die before your son then also there will be grief in the family so the natural order of things is that you die first then your son then your grandson and then your great grandson and so on so i have blessed you with the natural order of things and the king understood and he was grateful for this great blessing so sometimes when things happen as happen in the natural order of things we take them as tragedies instead of being grateful that things are happening in a natural manner and in a natural progression as it should be we consider it as a great tragedy it is not a tragedy when a parent dies before the child does it's a blessing the tragedy is when the child dies before the parent does so first we have to understand what is truly a tragedy or what we can call a tragedy in such a case when we really have a tragedy in our lives we need to count our blessings what we already have that we have not lost those who still love us those who are still around us these are our blessings gratitude is a very uh, difficult to practice virtue because usually we have this sense of entitlement why me or i should have it so this sense of entitlement that we have does not let us see all the things that we should be grateful for things we have which have been given to us and we haven't even earned them for example these plants around me they are giving me oxygen which sustain me i have not earned these plants which are there on planet earth they are a gift to me by nature am i grateful for that am i grateful that there are so many people who still don't have cars and they drive with bicycles you know or walk on the roads because they contribute less to this pollution than i do am i grateful for that so there are so many things that we can be grateful for the person who cooks our food the person who drives us to work the person who is uh, cultivating our food before it comes to our table the merchant who brings it to the shopkeeper the shopkeeper who sells it to me and finally i buy it and somebody cooks it or i cook it and then eat it i can be grateful for myself for my taste buds for my tongue for my mouth for my teeth that i can enjoy and relish that food 
Once we start becoming grateful, then these tragedies do not affect us so much. Because our focus shifts from what is hurting us to what is benefiting us. I think every day we must ask these two questions. What have I given today and what have I received today? When we start asking this question, we will realize suddenly that every day we are receiving so much more than we are giving. And once we are grateful for these gifts which come to us every day without us doing anything to earn them, uh, these so-called tragedies, even if they take place, will have much less impact on us. If you have any uh, further questions or you would like to leave a feedback, please do so on this page. Thank you for watching this video.